down on Mersey Island. Gonna be paddling right the way around the island today. Gonna be paddling right the way down for East Mersey all the way around to the Strood, and come back up around past Brightland Sea and back to this point here. This will be the third time paddling around the island, so I reckon it's gonna take about five, six hours. Really high tide today, just below five meters. Wind's gonna be pushing us all the way down the east coast. It's coming just on shore, so that's quite nice for us. But it is a bit cold, it's only six degrees, so I'm literally completely wrapped up. I've got the buoyancy aid, coat, body warmer, winter wetsuit, boots, gloves, the absolute full mile. Two and a half liters on the water bladder, flask of coffee, couple of snacks in there as well. See you in six hours. Respect. Middle name. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> They've done the splits already. <laughs> yeah. In there. Not very deep here. I'm going to have to go around and aim for that point over there. Literally, not even a full paddle depth here. So getting around this island on foot is a half marathon, about 13 miles. So paddling round is going to be a little bit longer, close to 15 I reckon. And uh, won't be going in an exactly straight line. We'll see on the Garmin how far it actually is. Just getting around these last little shallow bits. And they'll be pumping it down to West Mersey, all the way along the east coast. Wind's in our favour, we've got about 16 knots of wind pushing us down. And then the other half of the island is going a bit more tougher into the wind. but. I'll have the tide coming in up to the Strood and then hopefully the tide will be turning just as I'm crossing the Strood and then uh, just be against the wind for the final push. A little bit choppy in the old River Thames, I can tell you that for free. And if a wave's hitting me off angle, then I just get turned and my path gets altered, which is a bit annoying because I have to recorrect. So there's a little bit of exposed land just in front of me. I'm going to try and go around the left, but the waves are breaking out there, so I reckon it's quite shallow all the way around. but. We'll just see how we get on because I'm not going to be paddling miles out my way. I'd rather just get out and drag the canoe across the land, but should have probably gone around that way because it looks quite calm over there. So I'm guessing it's a little bit deeper. So you can see all around here is all mismatch of breaking wave, all coming in from different angles. So there's definitely land underneath me. Let's just hope it out. Oh, no. Yep, bellied out. Come on, see if we can get across. Oh my God, I'm getting soaked. I am getting soaked. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's nice. Freshen up. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. More of that, please. Oh no. We are wet on board. Jesus. That was not good. But I kind of done myself anyway, to be honest, didn't I? Oh man. I am soaked. I'm going to need to land and get this water out. That's not going to be fun to sit in for six hours. Just land in here, then launch the other side, I think. <laughs> oh no. I hope these waterproof bags are still waterproof. Ah, oh, the orange. All right, back to it. A bit of salt on there, lovely jubbly. Ah, oh, not a good start. Let's go. Ah. Well, rookie, I should have come around this way. It's probably a lot deeper. 1.7k, so just over one mile in after 18 minutes. So times that by another 13. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and we're there. Oh, we're shallow here again. Paddle scraping, waves are breaking. This is not good. I might get tipped out here in a second. Nope, over it. Just another nice little fill up of water. Thank you very much. I'm going to need to try and empty that again at some point, but I feel like it's going to be a never ending jaw. I don't want the extra weight. I often forget the vast differences between sea kayaking and river kayaking. I think it's a lot tougher out here. You've got the wind and waves to deal with more, you've got the tide. Uh, consequences are much higher. Things do go tits up. Conditions always play more of a part, and whether it's sensible or safe to go out. But at least I've got an incoming tide and an onshore wind. So, worst comes to worst. I'm going to get blown inland. Oh my god, we just took on a lot of water. 
I need to get this water out ASAP. And I don't really fancy. <laughs> we are sinking, boys. We are down low. These big waves coming in are not good. I don't really fancy landing on those rocks either. I need to start trying to get rid of some of this water, but it's not really an easy way to do that. Oh God, every wave is getting more and more water in. When those bungs and nothing can escape. Well, I just land on a seawall and see what happens. The beach isn't far away. Let's see if we can get to that beach. We're not sinking just yet. Gonna aim for this little sandy patch right in front of me, just to the right. Doesn't look too bad there. In we go. Oh. <laughs> oh no. This is quite clearly not working with these bungs in, so I think we're going to have to try and get them out. Right, we're only 40 minutes into the paddle. I can't be stopping off and emptying that every 20 minutes. It's just going to take way too long, so I'm just going to ditch the bungs and have a bit more of a wet ride. Just need something to poke them out because they're round in there so hard. I'm going to try and use a stone to poke them out with my Oh, baby. First time. This might be a terrible idea, but the current plan's not working, so we're going to go for this one instead. That way just wiped my stone away I was using. Let's get a new one. Uh, that one might work. A little poker. There we go. Six for six. Right, now we're going to do a bit of a mission launching off here because the waves are a little bit choppy. It's going to get soaked in there again straight away, but at least the water will be able to drain out. Oh, fucking hell. What are you doing, mate? Get back in there. Messed around here for so long, that's pretty much my lunch break done. Oh, mate. Right, a little break in the waves, let's send it. Oh. Go, 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 go! <laughs> For another set comes in. Right, we'll soon know if that's done anything and if it's going to help matters. Doesn't look like it's made a single bit difference. Is it draining out or not? I can't really tell. It should do. Right, absolutely soaked. Couldn't get more wet now. So let's focus in on the paddle. Some of these waves are getting a little bit big for this little kayak. Now we're right out in the open water where before we were a little bit protected by privacy. But now we've got like this bad boy coming in and giving us a good old rock. It's a little bit more hairy, but I think we'll be all right. If not, call it quits. See how we get on. Keep hearing the odd wave breaking and chasing me from behind. I just feel like I'm going to get knocked in in a minute. So I'm just looking at my cores ahead. There's loads of white tops and breaking water all through there. So I'm definitely going to want to try and stick right because it looks a lot more calm there and less likely chances of getting wet and getting rocked. Just going to sneak through here. Hopefully I can pass without too much trouble. Oh, this wind is a dream. It's literally blowing straight on my back. Just getting along to West Mersey Beach Hut. 57 minutes, so just approaching the hour mark. Just over 5k. So about a quarter of the way around, I should think. 
pretty good timing, but I've had the wind and the tide sort of push me around this way. So the reason behind the bungs in the kayak was I used them when I'd done the Guinness World Record of the River Thames, and it was mainly to keep me dry. Uh, it's quite cold today, so I didn't really want to get too wet, but the bungs weren't really doing a job of keeping me dry, so there's literally no point in keeping it in. Probably a bit silly to put them in the first place, really, because it couldn't drain, and it just filling up more and more water, and it was just making the boat very unstable and very heavy. So, I had to get rid, and that's working quite good, to be honest. I can see a right obstacle here. I'm going to have to go around this. This big black tube of piping going into the sea. Oh, God, am I going to get around that? I might scrape it on the bottom of that. And <laughs> If I belly out on that, that'll tip me out. Oh no. Is that the actual black pipe there or is it just seaweed floating about? Oh, I just hit it. Oh god. Not sure if I'm on it. Right. Oh no, this finger just hit it that side. Oh, we're over boys, we're over. Thought there was gonna be smoked salmon on top of that pipe. And there's quite a few sand banks around here as well. I'm going to have to keep a little bit of an eye out for. I can see a lot of breaking waves right in front. So then where do they stop? Quite far out. Oh, I'm just going to hit it and then pull it over. Save a couple of minutes. Oh God, we've got breaking waves coming from both sides. Get your UB frame cameras out, boys and girls, because you're about to get a good clip. Are we going to make it over or not? Woo! Oh, baby, yes! Made it over. Oh, there we go. Not too bad. Another bit of white water here. Oh, yeah, it's shallow. Just scrape the paddle. Can we make it over? Yes, just. Oh my god, this wave is going to tip me. This wave is going to tip me. There's one behind here. Oh, Jesus. This is not good. Oh, I escaped it. <laughs> Jesus. That was close. I need to get away from the shore a little bit because the breaking waves are getting ever so closer to me. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper in hopes of a little bit more of a stable paddle. Oh Jesus, bloody hell. Ah, and another. Oh, I'm going in. I think I might be going in. Let's get out of this bit. But I'm um, side onto the waves, which isn't great. Side on, rocking the boat. Oh, that's close call. Not seeing anybody else out on the water today. Everyone on the beach must see me. I think I'm an absolute loony. Probably not far off, to be honest. Don't know how the water and wind's going to be moving up this channel when we get to it. But I know it's going to be in my favour, but again, it might be a bit choppy and rough. Getting forced up there. Definitely glad I went for the kayak go over the paddleboard. The paddleboard would have been a nightmare. Progress would have been painful. But I have paddled around it once before at night time, and that took a lot. I can't even remember how long it took, but it took ages. I had to wait for ages for the chance to paddle around at night because we wanted a clear sky, full moon, high tide, and obviously little wind and ideally no rain. The old cold water dip spot. Around here, we should fly up to the jetty. Oh, bloody hell, someone get the speed camera out. We're breaking laws out here. Oh, it's nice to have a bit of protected water. Oh. Let's stop for a bit of lunch in a bit as well. Hour and 25 minutes so far, just under eight and a half K. So, not quite halfway around, but it's basically the tip of East Mersey to the, what I would call the tip of West Mersey in an hour and a half. Not too bad. Oh, I'm glad to see the back of open seas. Well, I was about to say because it's not as windy, but the wind's just picked up in here. But at least the waves are nowhere near as sketchy as they were out there. Less chance of being tipped in. Hands are starting to feel a little bit stiff, just being left out in the elements all the time, wetting in the wind, and obviously gripping the whole time as well. Starting to stiffen up a little bit, but at least they're not, they're not actually that cold, to be honest. Don't feel cold anyway. Refuel with a nice bit of salty water. Already, not even past the jet yet, and I can feel the wind pounding me in the face. It's going to be a long paddle background. 
don't want to do any more paddling than I have to. Cut this one nice and fine. Could have had, no, I couldn't go under the bridge. The tire's not quite high enough yet. Bro. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a wet ride back. I'm gonna get sprayed non-stop. Even more so when we get round the corner. Oh, he's just one of those Buzzy Allen Pals. Buzzy Allen Pals. Oh yeah, falling into the wind now. It's a little bit choppy. Getting the odd bit of splash here and there, but... Woo. Just under 10k at the moment at an hour and 40. So making pretty decent time. But this paddle here is going to take longer, which I'm fully aware of. Feels like we've almost completed it really. Doesn't even feel like we're halfway around, which is a bit of a dangerous feeling to be honest. Woo! Yahoo! Gonna stop for lunch probably at the Strood, have a quick snack and that, and then back in the water, keep on paddling. Yeah, I think it's fair to say my toes are starting to feel the cold. They've been sat at the front there in the wind and sitting in water. Uh, I'm going to give them a little bit of a wiggle to keep them moving. As expected, this part of the paddle is slow progress. I just need to get as close to the Strood as possible before lunch. No, we're on low battery. I don't know if I've got a charger with me either for the power bank. So, I'm probably going to lose a paddle here at hour 55, 11.2 kilometres. So, well over halfway. If we get done in four hours, I'll be well chuffed with that. Oh, I could always taste lunch. Let's get there. I thought the water was going to be a lot higher than this. It's going to be a bit of a drag up and over the old road, isn't it? Hi right, mate, table for one please. Thank you. Just park in this little cove for a minute. Oh, my feet are pretty cold. Oh, Ridley. Whoa, it's a bit muddy. A bit bloody muddy. Whoa. Oh, we're having an absolute nightmare. Battery's literally on its last legs on the watch. The GoPro Hero 7's on 2% of downgraded to the Hero 4. And audio on this is absolutely terrible, so apologies for that in advance, but that's what we've got to work with. Uh, no battery on this either. Ah, uh, bowls. Right, I'm literally gonna record the last bit and that'll pretty much be it. And then see you at the finish line, baby. So I downgraded again to the iPhone so the audio is even worse, I reckon, with this case on. Right next to the road as well. But I'm sure you're wondering what's for dinner or lunch. And I've been pairing this last night. Got it out of the cupboard this morning. And we're gonna crack that for a nice, nutritious, easy, Lunch. Cheers. Mmm. Have some of that. Be ready to go again in no time. Oh, that's good. So Whole can, nearly 400 calories. Good bit of sugars in there. Yeah, nice. And I'll tell you what, I've timed this so good. Literally the tide's gonna be turned in the next sort of hour or so. And then it's gonna help me push me round back towards East Mersey Point. And the weather hasn't turned out all too bad either. Just gotta try and get across this busy old road now dragging the canoe behind me so that should be fun so i've been sitting around far too long my hands and feet are getting a bit cold so i'm gonna get the gloves back on jump back in and finish the paddle just check the maps up before we head off realistically i reckon about 60 percent around the island now so 40 percent left and then all done and dusted send it Phew. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah boy, made it. Lovely jubbly. Final leg. Here we come, baby. This part's a real grind. Straight into the headwind. Tires just on the turn. Hands are feeling cold. Could have packed head in the street. But no way. We're getting this island done today. Just pulled up here for one final quick stop. I knew that was my last point where like a car can actually access me and come pick me up. Otherwise it's gonna be back around where we start where the point is. Brightland Sea is just coming into view, which is a nice thing to see. And then I've literally got to paddle around here and then we're almost done. So hop back in the kayak, have another little paddle, hopefully in the next hour it should be all done and dusted. And hopefully I've got enough battery on this GoPro just to capture pulling up at the end, but there's not gonna be much footage from here to there. Right, let's see again ever so closer around this corner and we're done. Yes, that golden sandy beach is looking sexy. That's our exit point. Yeehoo! Oh, East Mersey Point, how you doing? Four o'clock, so four and a bit hours. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. That is good. Oh. Yes, happy f Sunday. Oh. oh, fingers are literally frozen. That feels bad to do. Let's get moving. Ah, oh. yes, come on. That is an absolute wrap. Oh, I can't believe we made it. I can't believe we made it. I thought when we first got in, it was going to be a bit rough and choppy and windy to do it today, but it was a little bit dodgy. I don't really recommend doing it in that much wind, but I felt like it was okay to carry on going. And we did it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop it a like, subscribe if you want to, and have fun. Stay young, baby. Woo!